touring my entire zoo. Come in with Simone right now so you guys can see her. She's actually enjoying her grapes. Sitting here watching Rufus use the ropes is just incredible. Here you go, Bean Jr. There you go, Bean Jr. So yummy, so good. I'm here, Chong Man. So these two boys are just the sweetest cats in the planet. Guys, would you want to get bit by these? Look at those. Ah. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you and welcome to my jungle. I live here on a beautiful five acre preserve in sunny South Florida. And if you saw the title and thumbnail, you will know today's video is actually touring my entire zoo. I have all kinds of exotic animals. Today, you guys are gonna see lemurs, clouded leopards, servo cats, sloths, Turtles, iguanas, guys, every kind of animal you could think of, I probably have. So we're gonna hop into today's tour video in just a second, and we're gonna start it off with a highly requested animal, one that you guys have not seen in a while. So let's go check them out. Okay, so we're here with our first animals, and this is a highly requested one. You guys have been asking for literally ever a, for an update on them, so you guys are gonna get it right now, and that is my emus. It's really white right now, so you guys probably can't see it. These are my emu kids. We got Ghost and Shadow. Now, Ghost is pretty friendly, and these guys have gotten really big. Hey, be nice to your brother. These guys are starting to, oh my gosh, are you, what's going on here? Are they starting to duel? So, these guys have a really nice large enclosure filled with lush grass, and let's see if Shadow, Shadow, can I pet you, sir? Oh, I got one pet here, but, but Ghost, hey Ghost, can I give you a pet, sir? Please, I wanna pet you. Oh yes, look, oh, such a nice pet. You're a really good boy, really, really good. So these guys are the second largest birds in the world, and as of recently, Ghost has been letting me pet him. He actually enjoys having these neck scratches, and he loves his neck scratch, he loves having his eye scratch, and also his beak. You can see, this guy's got a crazy beak, and these guys are literally like real life dinosaurs. This guy right here stands at nearly six feet tall, but he is just a good, good boy. As you can see, he's just letting me pet him. He's a good emu kid. Very good, very nice. He's just letting me pet him. And this, like again, is not normal for emus to let you do this. This guy just loves getting his feathers preened, getting scratched. Ghost, ghost, you are such a good boy. Okay, so I headed out of the emu enclosure now, and you guys have wanted to see him for a while, so I was really happy to finally give you guys an update on him. Um, but now we're actually headed over to my macaw parrots. We've got some tortoises here, and then my black and white rough lemurs. So actually, let's go say hi to the macaws right now. Hello, hello. They're actually eating some sweet potato right now. So we have this guy right here, which this is Kalik. And Kalik is not very nice. Kalik wants to bite. Don't bite. Be nice. And then we have our rescued macaw here. This rescued macaw has a plucking disorder. Now, I don't want to stress her out since she does kind of have this plucking problem. So she doesn't want to say hi, but you guys got to see the macaws right here. Let's go say hi to the red foot tortoises now. Now this property has come a long way in just about two years. So for those of you that are new here, this is your first time on the channel. This is my red foot tortoise pen. So we have a bunch of red foot tortoises in here. Now it's kind of a, it's kind of a jungle in here right now. So we have one there. We have another right here. We've got this little beautiful red foot here now. They're kind of spread all throughout. They have their little winter cabin in here, but at, oh, what, what is, Excuse me, what, what is going on here guys? What the heck? Okay, so those two are up to some crazy stuff over there, so I'm gonna leave them be. But we're gonna go see our black and white lemurs now as well as my marmoset monkey. So for those of you that have been here for a while, you know all about Simone the marmoset. Now, I think I've shown you guys her new enclosure, but this is her new enclosure and we actually have a mate coming for her. So here is Simone the Marmoset. Now Simone was surrendered to me after she was living um, illegally in someone's house um, that did not have the proper permit or were they giving her the right diet. So now we ha are giving her the right diet. Now I actually have a grape treat for her. You want this grape? Simone, have the grape. Oh, that's good, yummy. She took it, she's eating it. Oh, Simone, isn't that yummy? So yummy. So I actually decided to come in with Simone right now so you guys can see her. She's actually enjoying her grape and she's just so nice. So we're just gonna give her these pets. Now, Simone isn't really a monkey that I can handle. I can come in here, I can give her nice little pets. But besides that, she's actually pretty wild in that sense. But here, I have another grape for Simone. Simone, I have a peace offering child. There you go, so good, so yummy. Get him Zeus, get Zena, get her. Get him, get him, get him. 
so guys, this is Zeus and Xena, my two ginormous, not so puppies anymore. But these guys are just hanging out wrestling. Now this is Xena right here. Well, she's about four or five years old, and then we got Juicy Boy and these guys. Hey, hey, I need everyone's attention at once. Hello, 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 hi, hi. So this is ZZ, can I have your paw, please? She doesn't really know how to do that, but Zeusy does Zeus paw. Zeus, can I have your paw, sir? Paw? Thank you so much. So these are my big attack guard dogs. So they guard the property 24-7 um, at night, during the day. And you can see they got these big, gnarly teeth right here. Now, she's got big teeth, but Zeus is even bigger. Now, Zeus is still just a puppy. And he's got these big, ridiculous teeth right here. I mean, these guys right here, they're so good, so nice. Just a good guard dog. Zeus, you're very nice. Um, excuse me, sir. What is going on there? What the heck? Okay, so you guys have seen some of my awesome animals so far, but this is probably my favorite so far. And that is, I'm not going to tell you guys just yet, my lemur children. We have Mrs. Roo and we have Mr. Rufus. So we have Mrs. Roo right here. She's so nice. And Rufus, my son. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, I just stepped in lemur poop. Oh, my gosh. Oh no, I just walked in here barefoot because it was just clean, but I, I just, oh no. Guys, don't be like me. Rufus, I have a treat. I have one grape. I have a grape for you. That's very good. Very nice. So for those of you that don't know, the lemurs are actually a critically endangered species from Madagascar. Now, most people th would think that these guys are actually monkeys, but they're not. They're actually a prosimian. So primates are classified into three different groups. You have prosimians, which are lemurs. You have monkeys and then apes. Oh, hello, Rue. I have a treat for you too. I have that. Would you like would you like that? Okay, so good. And Mr. Rufus. So I have you right here. So these are some of the most special primates on earth. Just absolutely amazing kids. Now I've had Rufus for over two years now. And then we have Mrs. Rue right here, which Rue is super nice. These are just the best little kids. Would you like a grape, Miss Rue? Would you like that, please? Like a grape? Yes, yummy. So good. So nice. And I almost sound like Mort from Madagascar. Hell yes, Rufus. Oh my goodness. My daughter. And I would like my son to come here as well. How's my son doing? Oh yes, you're so good. And my daughter is here, guys. All my children all at once. Again, these are not pets at all. So when you see this, don't think that lemurs are pets. They're actually not pets at all. Um, you can see they have a very large enclosure full of enrichment. They've got all kinds of branches, all kinds of ropes and swings, all kinds of stuff that a lemur needs to be a lemur. So you can see they've got a swing. They've got all kinds of stuff. And these guys get daily enrichment. And just sitting here watching Rufus use the ropes is just incredible. And of course, my daughter is here right by my side because she... Uh, she wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So I'm so happy I was able to introduce you guys to my lemur children. I mean, these guys are just seriously the best. Just two big, ginormous teddy bears. So guys, I'm going to get these guys off of me right now. There you go, Rue. And we're going to go check out some baby tortoises. But before we can do that, guys, we got to clean this lemur poop. Okay, my feet are nice and clean now. Guys, I definitely don't recommend stepping in lemur poop. It's just really gross, really squishy. So now I'm gonna show you guys some baby tortoises that I set up in this box, this one, and that one right there. We've also got my dad helping out. So we have an Aldabra in here, some baby redfoots in here, but I really wanna show you these guys right here. So I'm gonna open this box up right now. And dad, you're on lid duty, okay? Got it. Because this thing will slam shut. So we have all of our adorable baby redfoots in here. Now, setting them up outside is actually really good for them. They get all that natural sunlight. It's nice and warm out because it's summertime and it's just the perfect habitat for these baby tortoises. Now, guys, I've got some available on the website for everyone that's been asking. So I got these, these little guys right here. I have bright orange as well as regular redfoot tortoises. Um, I got a bunch available on the website. As you guys can see, we've got like 15 of them in here. So we've got plenty of baby tortoises. And these, again, were hatched right here on my property. So you guys can own a piece of Jacob's Jungle. So for those of you that are interested in a baby tortoise, well, after this is video is over, go to jacobfetter.com. Um, it's linked to my description. I got baby tortoises. I ship every Wednesday. So for anyone that's been watching a baby tortoise well now's your time so the next stop on our animals to see is actually our mama and baby sloth so we actually have our mama sloth sid as well as bean jr now for those of you um that have been following you will know that we had a baby sloth born here on march 15th mama and baby are actually separated from suki the dad as well as bean because we don't want the baby to get into a fight with the other ones but oh my gosh look 
here he is. He's gotten so big, so let's get him a little treat. So they've already gotten their bowl for the day, but let's see if he wants a little bit of a biscuit. Hello, baby sloth. You can see he's so good. I decided to name him Bean Jr. Bean Jr., I have a treat for you. So Mama's going to be pretty protective of Bean Jr. Here. Oh, oh, look. It's so yummy. So good, Mama. I have a treat for you, too, if you would care for it. Would you care for a biscuit? No? Okay. So I just got a little grape for them, and I want to see if I can actually lure the mom out. Now, Bean Jr. actually really wants the grape. Hey, he's like, don't claw your mother. Be nice to mother. So we have Bean Jr. right here, and let's see if Bean Jr. wants to eat it. Bean Jr., here you go. So we just gave Bean Jr. a little grape, and this is actually the first grape that he's ever had because I mainly give them vegetables, which include sweet potatoes, carrots, lettuce, monkey biscuits, squash, zucchini. Oh, you dropped Yeah, you dropped it, sir. You dropped it. Let's try this one more time. Here you go, Bean Jr. There you go, Bean Jr. So yummy, so good. So the mom and baby are in this barrel, but as you can see, they actually have an incredible enclosure here. So they have all these awesome branches. They have the bamboo to keep them shaded, different ropes, a platform here, and they actually have another barrel way up high right here. So they have all different areas to explore. Now, oh, here's the baby. Look how cute Bean Jr. is. Guys, I decided to name him Bean Jr. Bean Jr., I think that's a great name for him. And look at those little sloth ears. Now, I've got another grape treat for you guys. Wait, Mama, I've got, I've got something for you. Here you go, Mom. So good. Thank you for showing me your baby. You're a good mom. You've been taking great care of Bean Jr. You guys got to see these sloths right here. So now that you've seen all of these incredible animals, well, guys, where should we go next? We still have to see my Servals, Cheech and Chong, Nebula, my Clouded Leopard, and Theo Jr. is actually taking a nap. So we may not see Theo Jr. because he's taking a nap right now. But guys, let me know. Who should we go see next? Okay, so I made the executive decision to come out to Cheech and Chong's new ginormous habitat. We're going to come say hi to them. They've been living in here for over a week now, almost two weeks now. We still have to cut this tree down, but my boys are loving their new habitat. It's incredible for them. So we're looking at 32 feet long, 16 feet wide, 10 feet tall, and we got my boys in here. So we got Cheeto Man, and then there is Chong Boy. Hello, Chong Man. Hello, hello, how are you doing, sir? So we're gonna enter on in now, and we have our double door entry, and the reason why we have two doors is to prevent any escapes. We also have our lockout area here. This is where we can separate cats, we can feed the cats, but we've got our lock here, and that's a code lock, so let me unlock it. All right, we're unlocked, so we're just going to uh, latch that right here. We're gonna come on in. We have our nice um, little frame right here, a little wood deck over here, and we have this lock right here, which we're gonna need. Uh, we're gonna need this key right here to do it. Okay, I've got the key right here, and we're just going to twist this. We're going to unlock it. Now let's just hang that right on in here, and let's enter on in to see my boys. Cheeto and Chong, man, hello. Let's lock this. We want to make sure this is nice and locked. Hello, my boys. What's going on in here? He is actually one of my rescued serval cats. Now, these cats right here, these guys were surrendered to me after they were actually bought as Savannah cats. Someone unsuspectedly bought them and someone actually illegally sold these cats as Savannah cats. Now, these guys are definitely not pets. If you have the right experience and the proper enclosures, well, there's nothing wrong with having these animals. But trying to buy a cat like this on a whim, well, not a good idea. I'm here, Chong Man. So these two boys are just the sweetest cats in the planet. Now let me show you their enclosure. So they've only been in here just about two weeks. So we have our deck here, a platform to jump up, a nice water trough, some bamboo. We also have their incredible house right here, which is this log cabin house that I built. We have a scratching post. We've got one ball here as well as another ball over here. Now these guys love playing around. How you guys doing? Hello, how are my boys? You guys are so pretty, so nice. I've got this branch right here. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Yeah, look at that right here. So these guys are such majestic cats and these actually have the highest kill rate of any big cat. So they have about a 50% kill rate and they also can jump vertically about 10 feet tall. Just incredible cats. I actually absolutely love these guys. Run that way. Come that way, sir. Let's go. No, no. Okay. And now that you guys got to meet my serval boys, Cheech and Chong, well, let's go meet Nebula, my clouded leopard. And last but not least, we are in with Nebula, my clouded leopard. Now this is Nebby Jr. for those of you that don't know, and she is my adorable year old clouded leopard, and she also has 
Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but a rare eye condition. She's actually blind. You can see the blue in her eyes. So she's actually blind and actually gets an ointment and drops twice a day to keep the pressure low in her eyes. Nebby is just one of the sweetest clouded leopards that I have ever met. As you can see, we're just hanging out right now. She's just laying up on me. I'm giving her just the biggest pets in the world. But she is just a really sweet cat and also one of the rarest cats on the planet. Clouded leopards are actually the closest living relatives to the saber-toothed tiger. So if you actually look at these big giant teeth right there those teeth right there are just massive so they actually have the largest canines for their body size out of all the big cats these guys have got the longest teeth i mean guys would you want to get bit by these look at those ah. nebula is just the best clouded leopard kid on the planet so we're actually going to let her back into her enclosure right now go be free go be free so nebula actually has this awesome enclosure where she has all this space up top. She also has all these branches and platforms way up high. So bye, Nebby. Have a good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video touring my jungle. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And we actually didn't get to all the animals, so we're going to be doing a part two. So if you guys want to see part two, and when you're not subscribed yet, well, what are you doing, guys? Make sure to subscribe down below. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.